The last stop, Parliament Square. An eventful day wraps up here at dusk. Hundreds of students finally break into this square after a long march in central London. Their message is strong and clear: a free education. Education is a right that we are being effectively denied on the basis of the fact that people can't always afford it, and people are being put off of even attempting to get that loan because it's so high. It's clearly written on the LSE's official website that the tuition fees for a British undergraduate student amount to nine thousand pounds per year. And many students across the UK are angered that they have to pay such a huge sum of money for their education. They are worried that they could graduate in heavy debt. The general election is only six months away. These students want to show that they are united, and their battle has just begun. I don't think we can achieve. Of course, we can't achieve free fees by today, but I think it is important to start a conversation and to get people out on the streets and. People are angry, so people need to be out here. From the winding alleys to the centre of political power, protesters have spread their message in the nation's capital. Organisers say the demonstration is the biggest of its kind in four years. The students' sound and fury are close to the hearts of some international visitors. Free education is something I can definitely get on board with. I'm actually an economics student myself. Um, and I've seen that even during a recession, the positive impacts of investing on education, basically the fiscal return on education, is tremendous. It's half past five in the afternoon at the moment, and students are still gathering in the Parliament Square. They are trying to make their voice heard through today's demonstration. That is a free education that is accessible to everyone in this country, and they want it now. But will it make a difference to the government's future decision in this country? Xi Weiwang, Westminster News.